Hello everybody and welcome to the All About WWF Tag Teams Factbook. So, in this corner over here we have the Nasty Boys. In this middle we have the Bushwhackers. This corner over here, Legion of Doom. Tag Team we'll find about in the book. The Rockers. Let's go ahead and open this up and learn some fun facts. Starting with the Legion of Doom. Some wrestlers like to go it alone. Others like company. In the pay here, let me hold one second here. There we go. I'll try not to shake it so much. Apparently it shakes anyway. So there it is. Others like company in the pages to come. You are going to meet some of the World Wrestling Federation's tag teams, starting with Legion of Doom. So Legion of Doom is made of hawk and animal. Hawk has less hair than animal. Best way to tell them apart is the paint they wear on their faces. So let me move my knee here since I'm shaking anyway. As you can see, animal has a spider on his face. Hawk doesn't. Hawk has the... Whatever you want to call that. Okay. Hawk and Animal come from the city where Michael Jordan plays his basketball. The city of Chicago. Hawk and Animal wear equipment usually associated with the sport of football, but with spikes. A crashing clothesline off the top rope is Legion of Doom's best known move. They call it the Doomsday Device. Few opponents have recovered. On to this picture. WWF Tag Team Champions, the Nasty Boys, are one of the Legion's main rivals. Like Legion, they are a very strong team. Their favorite saying? Oh, what a rush. WrestleMania 7, Hawk and Animal needed only minutes to put away power and glory with the Doomsday Device. Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty are rockers. Shawn is the blonde one, Marty is the dark haired one. Most of you already know all this. The two rockers weigh in at just over 460 mark. It's about enough for Earthquake himself. Another one of them getting somebody down. I think that's Barry Horowitz. Rockers are known for their high-flying moves and exciting ring entrances. Some say they cheat, but often they're just really good. Both wrestlers are allowed five seconds to tag in and out. Or butt wrestlers, sorry, I thought I said both. So the Rockers aren't breaking any rules at all. The Rockers share the interests of many men. Or, the Rockers share the interests of many young men. Both like to chase girls and go out on the town. Yes, that is true. Both Sean and Marty are big music lovers. We like to listen to our rock and roll very loud all day and all night. On to the Bushwhackers. The Bushwhackers, Luke and Butch, come from a land down under. But it's not Australia, it's New Zealand. Luke and Butch are very fond of each other. They show their affection by licking each other's heads. Or, of course, the fans. They aren't known for their table manners. They like to eat right out of the can, especially if they have sardines, their favorite food. Yum, yum. Those, he those heads have another purpose. One of their best weapons is the battering ram. One of them grabs the other by the head and uses it to ram an opponent. This right here is their favorite dance. So the Bushwhackers don't walk the way everybody else does. They swing and kick their arms, which they call power walking. They were one of my favorites. I don't know about you. I used to be very entertained. Luke and Butch say they want to see everybody do the Bushwhacker walk. The Bushwhackers made a surprise appearance at WrestleMania 6, dis disguised as program sellers, they chased 
the Honky Tonk Man and Greg Valentine out of the ring when they destroyed their guitars. So that was another tag team that was short-lived, Honky Tonk Man and Greg Valentine. Nasty Boys. As you can guess, the Nasty Boys are Brian Nobbs and Jerry Sags. And they are not nice guys. They like beating up and bullying other people. The boys come from Allentown, Pennsylvania. It's one tough town. We like... Hold on. We like to see the piggy squeal, snarls Sags. He is the dark-haired one. He is missing a few teeth, too. Look at that smile. Okay. Right here, we get our fun putting on all the hurt in the world. Oh, it's on. We are getting our fun putting on all the hurt in the world, says Brian Nobbs. He is the blonde one. Nobbs and Sags are managed by Jimmy Hart, Mouth of the South, who's arguably the most devious manager in the WWF. Managed a lot of people, including Hulk Hogan. The Nasty Boys won the Tag Team Championship of WrestleMania 7. They defeated Jim Neidhart and Bret Hart, the foundation. The Hart Foundation. Sorry, I'm messing up all over the place. I apologize. First one I'm doing here. The boys won only by bashing Neidhart in the head with their manager's motorcycle helmet, knocking him out. So I thought it was the Orient Express, but I didn't want to be racist or wrong. But yes, it's the Orient Express. Don't remember them too much, but I do remember the name. So we're going to learn together. Let's do this. From the land of the rising sun, Japan comes the Orient Express. They even have a Japanese flag on their robes. The Express is made up of Kato and Tanaka. Kato is the one with the mask. Tanaka, Kato. Okay, nothing else. Let's turn to the next page. We're almost done here. Mr. Fuji manages the Express. He wears a bowler hat and carries a cane that he sometimes uses illegally to help his wrestlers in the ring. Mr. Fuji has taught Kato and Tanaka the quickest way to win is to make your opponents suffer great pain. So they're not in here, but another one that he helped manage is the famous Demolition. So big kudos to him. He's helped a lot of teams. And he's helped Hall of Famers and Champions. So both men can do more than wrestler. They are also martial arts experts. So they bring martial arts to the tag team. So yeah, this is the last page right here. Da 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 da. They are the winners. The Express knows the ways of the world. They say they want to dominate wrestling the same way J Japan dominate, dominates world finance. The Express met the Rockers at WrestleMania 6. They won, but not without some help from Mr. Fuji. He used his cane to trip Marty Jannetty. Poor Marty Jannetty's WrestleMania moment was getting tripped up. So there it is. Other fun books that are coming soon. I got three others to do. I will see you in the future video. Have a great rest of your day.